As of tonight, more than 2 million Americans have received a COVID vaccine shot. That's a good start, but far less than the 20 million vaccinations projected by the end of this year. And while, the, while more than 118,000 COVID patients are being treated at hospitals around the country, a crush of holiday travelers is prompting fears of yet another COVID surge. In California, the outbreak is so bad, the U.S. military is sending dozens of doctors and nurses to help. Here is CBS's Carter Evans. Even with all the warnings, more passengers jammed airports on Sunday than any day since the pandemic began. Even after the post-Thanksgiving surge that is overwhelming California hospitals. I think we're now in a viral tsunami. Dr. Robert Kim Farley is a UCLA epidemiologist who fears what's next. What happens when you get a surge on top of a surge? Yes, that's exactly really what we're experiencing. In that case, your hospitals become overloaded. So when you call other hospitals to try and send a patient there, what answer are you getting? Uh, there's no room at the inn. And when it comes to vaccinations, they're happening much slower than expected. U.S. health officials promised to deliver 20 million doses by the end of the month, but just over half have been distributed, and only a fraction have actually received the vaccine. In New York, reports that some may have used connections to get their shots early brought threats of up to a million dollar fine. We want to send a clear signal to the providers that uh, if you violate the law on these vaccinations, you will be prosecuted. In Florida, hundreds of seniors camped out overnight to receive the Moderna vaccine. And today in South Carolina, after workers and patients at a retirement home got vaccinated. It's just answered a prayer. It's been a long, a long several months for us. But the virus continues to take a horrible toll. COVID has now already killed one out of every 1,000 Americans. And then there are the daily struggles. Pro golfer Greg Norman described the COVID experience as headaches that feel like a chisel going through your head. And this warning tonight from a frontline doctor in California. We will take care of you. We'll find places. We'll put you in hallways. We'll put you in conference rooms. But ask yourself, is a bed in a conference room as good as the bed in a regular patient room? I don't think so. And tonight there's growing concern about the new strain of the virus in the UK that appears to be even more contagious. Now the CDC is requiring all passengers from Great Britain to show a negative test result before they even board a plane bound for the U.S. Major? Carter Evans, thank you.